Hello guys and welcome back. It has indeed been a little while. My name is Nathan, also known as The Whiskey Speaker. Now, I'm going to be talking to you today about a very special single malt, which I've only just recently been uh, introduced to and can't wait to share the review with you. But before I do it, this distillery was set up by uh, Harold Curry, who was a D-Day veteran and was also a director of uh, Chivas, the distillery being set up in 1995, having its construction delayed by a whole year due to protected golden eagles, and the distillery having been reinstated on an island, was the first to do so since the closure of the last legal one in 1837. It is indeed Aaron. That is what I'll be talking about today. So, Aaron is not the only distillery on the island anymore. The same company recently opened up a distillery in Lag, where, having just mentioned the closure in 1837, that was where the last legal distillery on the island of Arran was. Um, and the Lag distillery, which opened in April 2019, will focus primarily on creating strong, bold, peated whiskies. But Arran goes for the softer side of life, unpeated whiskies, not exclusively, but the vast majority of their casks end up non-peated. Also recently, they've had a massive transformation of rebranding. As the stock has been getting older, originally they released an 8-year-old, a 10-year-old and a 12-year-old, 14, 16 and growing as their core range. Now what they've done is they've had a major overhaul and it is one of them whiskies that I have a chance to present to you today. So the island of Arran is actually located between the Campbelltown Peninsula and the Fourth of Clyde off Ayrshire. Now if you're looking at getting a whisky cask from the distillery they are very reasonably priced at just over £2,000. Um, if you're going to go for one from Lag Distillery, which is owned by the same company, it will set you back a cool £6,000. Now, naturally, this distillery falls under the island uh, regions or category, and as such, kind of doesn't have a distinct kind of predetermined assumption as to how it will play out. Of the uh, distillery, the little bits of nitty-gritty uh, detail are that it actually um, has malt that is produced by the Boar Malt um, Glenesque Maltins. The water uh, source is, if I can pronounce this right, Glenan Aeson Bioruch. Hopefully I've pronounced that right, and in Gaelic that translates from the sharp waterfall. Uh, the yeast that is used is Kerry M strain and it has a semi to mash tun and the washbacks are wooden totaling five and they have four copper pot steels, obviously two wash, two spirit. And the design is bulb by nature and a very thin, narrow, lean arm now what does all of that mean well the whiskey out of their new revised range that i will be uh, talking about today is for anyone here who is a sherry nut this really is packing above its weight now this one i actually managed to procure off uh, the whiskey shop uh, in edinburgh so hello to you guys up there you're doing a fantastic job um, and at the time, this was being retailed at a special price of £55. So having done my research, anywhere between £50 and £65 is what this is currently being retailed for. So from the packaging, very plain, very not over dramatic. A little picture of the island with indeed what I assume was golden eagles and a still. And the... Um, Basically, this, the uh, rich description notes there, which I have independently tried myself, um, having been a little bit naughty and actually kind of reviewed this whiskey privately uh, before actually 
making this video and I've kind of enjoyed it so much that actually kind of the bottle doesn't lie as you can see by how empty it is that is absolutely beautiful so on it as we can go through it is a 700 ml bottle sherry cask at a whacking cask strength of 55.8 percent having been natural cask strength obviously and also it having come from a sherry hogshead so that is uh, from the new part of the range uh, which has come from um, the sherry cask this one the quarter cask and the and the barrel uh, reserves so that's part of their new non-age statement range on the back there is a map as describing the geography uh, if you can see that hopefully between um, the peninsula of Campbelltown and the main land mass in Scotland there off the west coast and we can jump right in with our tasting uh, and see what we come up with like I say I cheated slightly and I you know I, you can't blame me I'm only human come on so here we go pre-poured myself a glass a quick whip round that lovely colour just captured in the sun there I would say it's kind of like uh, a polished wood like a mahogany maybe it's slightly more redder than gold obviously coming from the sherry cask so the nose uh, definitely uh, spice spice dried raisins through and through a little bit of sting from the alcohol um, but that's only to be expected and a, definitely a, a little bit of beeswax coming off on that um kind of very um chewy on the palate there actually sweet sherry and a lot uh, a good a good strong mouth feel try and go back in again for that palate yeah I'll, st I'll stick with that so finish um long and peppery um definitely full bodied unsurprisingly uh, a lot of oak A hazelnut that's what I was trying to go for hazelnut yeah very dry long peppery dry hazelnut full bodied definitely so guys that's uh, my whiskey review for the new revised Aaron sherry cask definitely one to look out for and try I, I feel fantastic little whiskey this and also looking at the car, uh, carton, I should say, the one thing I would actually like to compliment Aaron on is, unfortunately, you probably won't be able to see it, maybe if I get the bottle out. Just on the labelling there, can you just see underneath the word single malt there, there's Braille, which I think is a very clever and a very conscious effort um, to focus with those who are, who are maybe not so blessed. Um, with eyesight but can still enjoy the qualities of whiskey as in the smell and the feel and everything so I think that's very clever and hats off to you guys at the 
on of Aaron Distillery. So that's it, guys, from me today. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, it's been a pleasure as ever. If you have any comments, any messages, any feedback, I'm always uh, looking forward to hearing it. I do have a couple of more whiskey uh, reviews lined up, and hopefully it won't be so long for, between the next review. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Keep safe, and I look forward to speaking to you soon. Bye for now.